This is the actual JBL diaphragm coil. We see here the uh, uh, voice coil itself. These are the actual windings. At the top, we see the wire connected to the connected going out there. That's the actual beginning of the voice coil itself. Here we see the flat wound voice uh, wire. Uh, it's not real obvious that it's uh, flat wound wire, except if you look at the outside, we don't see a bunch of rounded edges. It looks pretty flat. Uh, that's usually an indicator of that. Uh, if the wire has not been flattened, then you, what you'll see is a bunch of bumps. That This is the uh, power con connector. This connects out uh, to, uh, the, to the amplifier or to the crossover. Here we see the actual terminal itself. The uh, lead gets a uh, lead gets screwed on here to the uh, connector on the outside of the driver. We're now actually looking at the diaphragm itself, and this is the JBL pleated design. Uh, we see that they're sort of spiraled outwards, and then there's this uh, ring in the center. That is the actual edge of the uh, diaphragm. This is the outer edge of, of the uh, surround. Uh, notice the glue that's uh, been used to glue it to the outer ring. It's the interesting colors are because the diaphragm actually has some, s some slight oxidation, which is not nearly as vivid in natural light. Here we're looking at the inside of the JBL uh, voice coil. Uh, we see it's a paper fo uh, voice coil, and we see that there's a crease in the paper there. Uh, that's folding over so that it will fit against the actual loom diaphragm, where we see a, a bead of glue has been added where it's glued to the actual aluminum diaphragm. Here we see factory lettering. Uh, this type of lettering, printed lettering, is very common in from American factories of the 1960s, 1970s era. Uh, here we see some additional lettering, a different st uh, font style, more of a vacuum style. And we see uh, a third set of numbers. I have no idea what the numbers mean.